Post-Game Machine and Theory Technology from Korea. This is some of the things that we are thinking right now in the state, where we're going to go, what we're going to do. Um, it's stuff that we've already done preliminary studies on, and we'll go through some quick ones. Composting machine, this is the technology that Dr. Park has brought in. We're, we're actually looking at it, uh, taking it to Honolulu. Um, process feed garbage in Waikiki. Right now, you know property is got a headache in Waikiki. There's too much garbage, not enough pigs. Pig farmers don't want the machine because uh, they make so much money picking up garbage. They make more money picking up garbage than they do selling pigs. So there's a little bit of challenge there, but uh, what they're starting to find out is what Kim has talked about, Dr. Kim, you know, not cooking the, cooking the garbage and stuff. It's starting to show some problems. Somebody talked about human waste. They're, they're, they're starting to look at using these machines to um, get rid of human waste. They, they've done this in, uh, in Japan and, and Taiwan right now. The orderless figure, the little waste management system, we're talking about going large scale. This is the machine that I'm talking about. This is a two-ton machine that was in Korea, similar to Dr. Parks. Basically, uh, this technology is also in uh, Japan and Taiwan. Uh, the state is looking at it very seriously right now. Um, in fact, next week, Thursday, I'm at ABC giving a seminar on where they should be looking for these machines. This is what they can make. You can make the animal feed. The preliminary study has already been done here in Hawaii. Uh, you do have some challenges. We do have to increase the protein levels, but working with Dennis Gonzalez, at the federal government level. We decided to put some top dressings with uh, algae. I think we can solve the protein problems and then Robert Olivier is also in here looking at taking the offal from the slaughterhouses and uh, convert it into uh, an animal feed but through um, soldier flights. So that, that project is going fairly well. There's the machine in Korea. This is a big apple farmer there. It, it, it's really government controlled over there. The government buys the machines for these farmers. It's, you know, basically it's a big sterilizer and a dehydrator. But it's really neat how it does it because the first phase is it gets up to 100 degrees Celsius and so it kills everything. That's why we can make the pig feed in this thing. And then it goes into a composting phase and it comes out as a fortified compost. Like the turning of the compost, if you can make it in the machine, um, they can make two tons in less than three hours. Instead of us turning it for six weeks. Uh, to alleviate some of the problems that we have here in Hawaii with electricity, they also go in photovoltaic and in Korea to run these machines. This is the apple farm. Talk about large scale agriculture. This is 50 acres. And an apple farm in Korea, as you can see, is all under bird cover. And how they they, they plant it. You look at the grasses here, they, they, they use a lot of legumes. You can see the white Dutch clover in there. And then they also use some uh, reflection paper on the ground, and that is to create the lights of the apples. Turn all red all the way around, so they're almost perfect. So they get really into uh, added value. Right now, you buy these apples in Korea at seventy-five dollars a box, <laughs> and that's what we want to do in Hawaii: add value to our things. Because even Drake and I went out there. We bought the same apples in in the in the uh, swap meet, three for a dollar. But you put them in a box like this, they sell for seventy-five bucks. That day. <laughs> so this is what we have in Hilo. This is Dr. Park's machine. Go to this piggery. We talked about all the solar positioning, so I'll just go through it very fast. You see, I saw that. I explained it this morning. This is a piggery in Korea that I saw the 400 pigs. Basically, the same design as we have here. What is neat is the pigs don't have to have any farrowing crates, which is that's why the guy in California, he should be finished with his stock up in Sonoma County. But this is, was his major selling point to put in the piggery that he was going to use any farrowing crates. Because in California, proposition 
Number two, let's kind of wipe that out. Seventeen square feet per pig. Can be any type, any type of pigs. Make sure you don't mix the live with the domestic. Carol, Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just trying to get through here. You can see how the pigs get the sunlight every day because of the, the, the solar positioning. And this is Kang's place. Expansion project. Remember. Concrete floor. Right now we're getting away with a hard plastic. Department Health has approved that. Remember now, complete enclosement. No way the manure can escape. And this is why they like it, because it's a total closed system. The manure will not seep down into the groundwater. When you built it, built above ground, because in Hilo, and we're going to go visit this farm tomorrow. Um, you dig down in Hilo, you can get a swimming pool. So basically, everything was built above ground. Use the crane to, to put up the, the roofing. Within two hours, we had the roofing up. Hired the guys from the Olympics to go up there and tie it all down for us. With all these gymnasts climbing up there. And basically, that's the theory that uh, David Fisher is kind of kind of written up about it. And it still looks the same here from, from when you went there. <laughs> Self-collected microbes. Jerry gave that talk. You go to Korea, everybody's got a jug like this. And I remember going to the, this farm with Dr. Park and it was 98 degrees outside. And I thought the lady brought me some iced tea. We drank it down, I said, oh, this thing is sweet. Come to find out, we drank the microbes. <laughs> <laughs> Where we're heading now, we're going to the research farms and the microbes. We are looking at developing a co-op here. The girl had to leave. I wanted her to talk a little bit about what's happening with CGF co-op. Um, working with Drake and trying to get the soil microorganisms all identified through this new technology that is developed with relationship with Lene Ingram. We're going to move faster. Basically, what this is is all different drugs of IMO number two. This side is all the different inputs that you make, and they make them by the gallons over there. But every single farm in Korea has got a jug there. So you're using the, the same inputs from each farm. Eventually, that's what we want to do here. We started out at Komahana in a greenhouse to just get it kicked off, and hopefully, the co op will take it to the next level. Making IMO, you can turn it by hand. This is Dr. Park when we first started to learn. These are some of the original members. Biochar, we got somebody out in Pahoa, Josiah Hunt, started doing this as a business. This is, this is something that we really need to utilize with our microbes. Here's the pen, concrete flooring, we put some uh, air, air irrigation pipes on the bottom to try and get some ventilation on the bottom. You don't really have to do this, but this was the experiment that we were trying. And we wanted to see if uh, we aerated the, the, the bottom of the TV would, would the fermentation last a little bit longer. Did it, what, did it help? I mean, it, you know. Uh, you know it, did, it was the same. Okay. You know, half, the, half the pen that was aerated, the other half was still the same. Okay. So we, we put it in because Master Cho said you gotta put the concrete bottom and then you kill all the microbes. That's why I decided to try to do that to see what happened. So you're saying now you don't think you need it? No, I know I don't think. Yeah. Because okay. all the old people are put in without that. That's, um, that's a big expense, you know? yeah. So that we knocked out two thousand dollars. If you look at if you look at those forms I gave you, right now the same almost twice the size piggery as Kang's. We paid forty eight thousand dollars for Kang's. This new building only cost him 26. Oh, wow. So we're getting it way, way down, and everybody can uh, put it in very economically yeah. feasible. Here we go, cutting trees. This is bamboo. So you can use anything that you want at the bottom. You layer it, you get all your wood chips. You can get it from, there's a guy out here that's cutting uh, co op. We used to get the chips from him. Uh, you can hook up with all your tree trimmers. Because they got to pay $85 a ton to drop it off at the uh, Greenway's place. 
If you come to us, they give it to us for free. That's how we got all of this. You layer it with your logs, like I told you. And we use albizia trees, we use a monkey pod, use anything we could find. Here's the pigs underneath the Never cleaned them for 37 months. This is Master Cho saying, plants and animals need to live in harmony with nature. If you don't have animals in your program, you do not have an organic program. So a lot of organic people are starting to realize that now. So that, you know, that, that's the future. And that's how you say thank you in Korea. So, you know, we've, we've got a lot of things that are happening in Hawaii. Um, a lot more than you think. Um, I'm building a piggery in Georgia right now. Um, I built a duck farm in Oregon. And the reason why we did that, because we wanted to take the system outside of Hawaii and see if we could spread the word. Master Cho is now teaching classes at Stony Brook University in New York. And that's why I try to push very hard for the state of Hawaii because I know what happens with large universities when they get information like this, cutting edge, we don't get cut out. Right now, we this far did it with you, but taking this nationally and you know, all I get the credit. And that's our ultimate goal. Because NRCS, you guys will be there. You know, no longer at Hawaii is small. You guys will change all of the nation one crack. Because guys are putting them in on the mainland. So, without further ado, I'd like to thank you all for coming to the seminar today. Please fill in your blue papers because I need to get the evaluation so I can get back to CJF so we can figure out what's the next step, what you guys want to hear about. I want to have a chicken workshop. We can have a chicken workshop. You want to have a plant workshop. More of what Kumwei has done, we can do that too. Yeah, we got something about somebody can talk about the core. And I think somebody wanted to sell some things today.